Okay, so those are a lot of my walking dead stuff. I didn't show you my shirts because I'm wearing one of them. I got another one and actually two more. This is my walking dead hat that I actually got from the AMC studio. I walking dead on the back. And I didn't show you the little thing to the blanket, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, this video is not really about The Walking Dead, though. I just showed you all that stuff because I never miss an episode of The Walking Dead. I grew up watching zombie movies. And I'm going to give you guys tips on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Now, the first thing you're going to need is weapons. And what else to use is a shotgun. Now, this doesn't have any bullets in it, but it is a real gun. And it's a different way to cock this one. You do this as many times as you want. I'm going to do three this time. And then you push this back. Don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to fire. If you want to put it on safety, this side, you probably can't see it on the video, but it says push for safe, push it in, it's on safety. The other side it says push, fire, push it in, ready to fire. And then, once you're ready, pull the trigger. And now this is my machete. This is my favorite weapon of all. Now, I know most of you will probably be thinking of guns and machete is not the best weapon, but it is a pretty good weapon. You can like, like all you have to do is just like do one swing, make sure you get them in the head, obviously. One swing when they're down on the knees, and to get them down on the knees sometimes, just chop off their legs or whatever, however you want to. Honestly, don't care. And now, another important thing is you will need food. You probably won't be getting candy like this all the time, but these are just two examples. Juicy drop off and Snickers if you want candy, but it doesn't really matter that much. And this, it's really popular if you watch The Walking Dead. You will need knives, even if they're small blades. Like this one. Now, you can't, obviously, you can't, like, throw at them if you're not a good thrower. And you can't just use them every single time you run into one. The only time is if there's, like, one coming near you. And you have to make sure you're really careful once you get in the head. And, yes, again, it has to be the head. And to carry all your stuff, you'll need two different things. Sometimes you'll need a bag. I made this bag myself. It's a Walking Dead bag. Just carry it around your arm. You can fit a bunch of stuff in there. But don't, don't. Carry too heavy, carry light. And another rule is cardio. Don't be too fat. <laughs> or you'll dead. And sorry, the guy laughing is my cameraman. It's actually his channel, not mine. And yes, you will need a book bag sometimes to carry a lot more stuff. You're not going to school, don't worry. But this will carry a lot more stuff than just the bag. Make sure you have both of them if you just want to choose one. Well, okay. go ahead, choose one. Now, those are stuff that I have to show you. Now, there are certain places you need to go and certain places you don't need to go. Now I know Dawn of the Dead might have showed you it's a good place to go to a mall. That's really stupid. Going to a mall is not safe. There could be shitloads in there. Dawn of the Dead doesn't know shit. There's not that many zombies in there. There'd be a lot more than that. Even if there are survivors, there'd still be a lot more zombies. And on top of roofs, I know you might be thinking that's safe because there's no zombies up there that much. But you will die of starvation once you run out of food in... Go down, if you go down to whatever roof you're on, there's bound to be more zombies down there. And if you honestly think that going to a hospital is a safe place for the zombie apocalypse, I have no hope for you. If you want to go to a place, try to find a neighborhood with like walls or whatever, some kind of sanctuary. Not just a normal house. That won't work. Okay? Trust me. I would know. If you really want to find anybody, find me. Now, you can't always trust everybody because there are some dangerous people out there that are more dangerous than the dead. If you follow the rules to this video, you have a good chance of surviving the zombie apocalypse. And I actually have a gift. If I ask you a few questions, I can say how long you would survive in the apocalypse and how you would die. Me, personally, I would live about six years and I'd probably die by getting bit and have one of my group members shoot me. My cameraman here will live about two months and he would die by a big herd because of his loud ass mouth. You guys should probably see who he is. This guy, right here. Yeah, nobody cares about your face. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so if you follow these rules, you will survive the zombie apocalypse. If you don't, you're dead. So, good night.